It's Tuesday. Oh, my friends, welcome back. It is Tuesday, March 29th, 2022. Many twos, I am aware. I'm the drunk poker tis beer time. I'm having a day. I'm having a week. This week has been... <laughs> Anyways, it's Tuesday, right? Getting low on our counterpart beers that we picked up back on vacation. That's okay. You know what? Always time to go get more. Uh, this one's the collaboration they did with Rouge River. Uh, to commemorate their, their birthday they had there a couple weeks ago. Dream of Juice. 8.5%. Hello. How are you doing? That's a first beer. Hello, Simcoe. Simcoe's in the house. He's over on the chair there. He's coming to check out. Uh, so one of the things I noticed that the... So Counterpart has a lot of words dream in their video, in their beers. So uh, is, that's not coincidental, is it? No, because it's all a dream, man. We're living in a simulation, man. Okay. What? Anyways, how you doing? Let's get started with an 8.5% beer. Where do you go when your first beer is 8.5%? My friends, you go to bourbon after that. I mean, you could go to like bourbon barrel-aged beer, I guess. They do have some. I do have some bourbon barrel-aged beer from Counterpart, but I'm trying to hang on to that for, you know... The summer. I love drinking bourbon barrel aged beers in the summer. I just do it. There's something about floating around the pool with like a 10 or 11% beer in your glass and just like this slow sipping, sunny, humid afternoon. I don't know. It's just me. It's not just me. We all do it. Passion fruit. Peach, grapefruit. All right, let's get into it. Uh, cheers, my friends, to Tuesday beers, which should be Friday beers, but it's only Tuesday, unfortunately. Cheers. So Rouge River, next to my buddy Paulie G, uh, I've had some Rouge River beers this year, and they're, they're, they're smooth, man. They know how to make an IPA. Counterpart, 100% uh, knows how to make these hazy, like, soft Vermont, New England-style IPAs, right? They totally, together, this is a dream. Oh, life could be a dream. Um, there's more of that song, but I can't remember right now. It's been a long day. I'm not kidding. When I say it's been a long day, I get up at 4.30 every morning. And some days I get to where I don't sit down until I get back in my car at 4 o'clock at night and at 4, 4.30 at night. So this is 10, 11 hours on my feet and I'm tired and I, I got to talk to myself right now. Hi, Marbsy. Marbsy's over there now, too. So anyways, here we are. So you get these beers. You get these guys who know beers, right? And they know beers. They want to make these beers. They take these hops and they put them in the beers and they taste delightful. Passion fruit. Great fruit. I get a little bit of peach. There's a nice pithiness in the back. It's soft. It's tropical. There's no hint of that 8.5%. This is a fantastic beer. I think I've said that about most of the counterpart beers I've had because they do make really good beers. Regardless of what they have, they have sours too. Again, I didn't buy a lot of because I'm not a big sour beer drinker. I'd rather buy four IPAs, you know, one sour, <laughs> than two and two. That's how I go. But it's all about float your boat, man. It's delightful. It's delightful. There's this always this undercurrent of like there's there's this this touch of sweet in all of these beers that I always kind of just I don't ignore it, but I don't really it's there underneath the citrus and that right. And I think that's part of what draws me to it is there that that there's that kind of treat, man. To feel like treats. Do you know what I mean? And I I, I don't know. I'm having a rough day today. Sorry, we're a little disjointed. That's just how it is sometimes, and that's okay. Right? Like, we're, it's okay to not be okay. We always say that. But just, it's not a bad disjointed. Like, I'm not angry or upset or any of that stuff. It's just one of those days where your head's kind of tilted to the side. And you're just like, oh, man. Like, if I go to bed and we start over again tomorrow. But I'm like, first we're going to have a beer and a little bit of bourbon. And then we'll start over again tomorrow. Okay? I think they have a couple cases of this left. If not, whatever counterparts got in the fridge, get yourself some. You'll be fine, son. You'll be fine. Cheers, my friends. Enjoy your night. I think I have one more can of this. Could be a two beer night and a bourbon night. Maybe. Just maybe. <laughs> 